Hello and Happy New Year, my friends. Hope all you are doing well. Have a wonderful New Year's weekend and stay safe and healthy. My name is Ellen. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my Southern Kitchen, the 440th episode and the first episode of the New Year 2021. Today, I'm going to share with all of you an oatmeal pie. And an oatmeal pie is an old-fashioned Southern dessert that is baked in a rich custard and has a texture of an oatmeal cookie. And it is the bomb.com, delicious, and as always, it is so simple and easy to make. Everybody's going to fall in love with this. And I'll post a complete recipe along with the instructions down below in the description box. And also check out my other pie recipes from apple pie to blueberry pie and my previous video, strawberry lemon Moscato punch. I'll post a link to both of those down below in the description box. So grab your pie crust, your brown sugar, and your oatmeal sugar, because we're about to bake some oatmeal pie magic in my southern kitchen. Here we go. All right, my friends, in my bowl, I have four extra large eggs that let come to room temperature. I'm going to whisk these until they're frothy. All right, my friends, this is what the eggs look like. Nice and frothy. And this is the color we're looking for. That looks great. So now we're going to set the eggs aside while we work on the other ingredients. In my large bowl... We're going to add in one cup of packed light brown sugar. And we're going to add in two tablespoons of all-purpose flour with one teaspoon of ground cinnamon and a fourth of a teaspoon each of ground nutmeg and ground allspice. And we're going to mix these together until they're well incorporated. And I apologize, that was ground cloves, not ground allspice. All right, now we're going to add in the eggs and whisk them together until they're well incorporated. Next, we're going to add in a fourth of a cup, which is four tablespoons of unsalted butter that I melted and cooled, one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, and one cup of pure maple syrup. Oh yeah. And here's a tip. Spray your measuring cup with cooking spray so that way your syrup will slide right out without being sticky. And continue whisking until they're well incorporated. And last but not least, the star of the show, the oatmeal. Going to add in one cup of quick five minute oatmeal and fold them in. Mmm, can smell the maple syrup and the vanilla and the spices. Smells heavenly. All right, as soon as I get through folding in the oatmeal, I'll bring you back. All right, my friends, I'm through folding in the oatmeal. And I forgot to mention, I added in a fourth of a teaspoon of salt when I added in the flour and spices. And this is what it looked like. Perfect. Now we're ready to pour the oatmeal filling into our pie crust. We're going to pour it in the nine inch pie shell. And I'm using my homemade pie crust recipe I'll post a link to that down below in the description box or you can use a refrigerator or a frozen deep dish pie crust. Now we're ready to put our oatmeal pie in the oven. 
We're going to put it in the preheated 350 degree oven. All right, my friends, there you have it. Southern oatmeal pie. Don't that look delicious? Mmm, and it smells phenomenal up in this kitchen. So now I'm going to let the pie cool on the wire rack, and then I'll fix me up a plate, and I'll give it a taste. All right, my friends, I fixed me up a plate, and I'm serving it with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. That looks mighty tasty. Now it's time for the best part, the tasting. Here we go. Oh, yeah, beautiful texture. Mm-mm. Look at that. Mmm. Chewy and gooey. I could taste the spices. And I could taste the oatmeal. And the crust is perfectly cooked. If y'all love oatmeal, y'all gonna love this pie. This is spectacular, my friends. Please give this recipe a try. This deserves another bite. Grab me a little ice cream. Yum o. Oh. Oatmeal pie delicious. My friends, I want to thank all of you for watching and joining me in my southern kitchen today. If you enjoyed this video and this recipe, please give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to share this with your family and friends. Like. Comment, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell so that way you'll be notified when my new videos come out. And also hashtag Ellen's Homemade Delights on Instagram or send me an email, Ellen's Homemade Delights at gmail.com. I would love to see your beautiful creations with my recipes. I'll see you next time. Let's eat and much love.